What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Colobot. Looks like in this episode, we're doing a couple more little exercises. Considering this is shooting drill number one, I'm going to assume there's a shooting drill number two. So let's go ahead and get these out of the way. And hopefully we'll get on to some more stuff. More interesting stuff. I have a feeling this is going to be brutal. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this on one battery. Oh, we got a nuclear battery. That's why. Sick. That vibration, though. Wow, that's really difficult when it's shaking like that. No idea how you hit that MLG right there, boys. <laughs> Spray and pray. I wonder if it's supposed to vibrate that much. Seems like a sh little overkill. <laughs> it wanted me to do it without touching down, but... I don't think that's a hard requirement. Wait. Sure, there's not more of them. Or maybe I just have to launch. Okay, I was like, I expected it just to end automatically. Explore the underwater world looking for another black box. These ones are the worst. The worst. Okay, so apparently I have to find this black box underwater. There's some stuff there I can process. And the fact that starting me with one cube tells me that I need to make an ore processor as the first thing. I <laughs> just right into myself. So let's put that over there. To back this up. So, a converter. Converter will take those ore chunks and turn them into these little cubes that I can use to build other buildings and I can use them to make vehicles. One thing I noticed in some of my previous Call of videos is there's sometimes, well, you probably didn't notice it, but you will as soon as I mention it. There's some crackling in the sound sometimes, and I, that's, that's a noise that the game itself makes. There's like, you liar. 
it's a noise that the uh, the sound engine makes in this game so ain't my fault I don't know if I don't think they converted this game to use unity but it's something I see in pretty much all unity games is like crackling in the sound if it's a unity game you can almost be guaranteed that it's gonna crackle in the audio I don't know why but it does I've seen it from Kerbal Space Program does it uh, Imperion does it I don't want to grab it do I I want to build a bot factory too close to a building so yeah Imperion does it and what, it, what did I say Kerbal Space Program Imperion City Skylines they all do it they're all unity games and they all do the crackly sound thing I don't think this is on the unity engine I think it's on its own engine but suffers the same problem but it's more common when you're flying in a vehicle so let's see the next thing I need to build would be well depending on if it unlocked anything I'll have to build something to charge my batteries because if my batteries go dead then I'm kind of hooped although I, I can walk everywhere but who wants to walk he still only has these two things so switch bots buildings huh? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Didn't you know that was a thing? You can click different buildings like this. Gotcha. I don't think I have to do much in this map. Because it only wants me to build this one vehicle that I can go underwater. And... Let me just put this down. And I'm going to see if it will let me build anything other than those two structures. Well, it's only giving me a converter and a bot factory. Alright, well. Let's build a suburb then. Actually, is that a charging station right over here that I can use? Probably not. Okay, so we want to build a suburb. Need a new battery. Actually, no, not yet. We'll use this battery a little bit more. And we'll convert another one of these little ore, ore chunks into some titanium. I don't really have a use for it yet, but yeah. I'm hoping that now that I built that suburb, might unlock some more recipes. Does he need a battery? I can't tell if there's a spot for a battery or not. Yes. And this guy needs a new battery. Switch cell. I need a battery for him. Oh, the camera doesn't recenter itself. That's brutal. Oh, no, no. I want the dead one you. There. I always turn the wrong way when I'm backing up because I expect it to drive like a car, but it doesn't because it has four wheel steering. So it's like you turn. Like this when you back up, you think it's gonna go like this and back up. So yeah, it's kinda weird. Okay now apparently I'm supposed to take this thing underwater. But I think what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna fly around with this guy. See if there's anything around that's useful.
would make sense if the black box was right beside here. Oh, what's this? That would be the black box. Yay! Put a green one here. There's even a conveniently placed energy cell right there. I'm guessing that's so that you can get here with the black box and then have enough power to bring it back. If I was a bet man, that's what I would think. That's what I would bet on. Alright. So let's take this turret over here. It's quite the unit. Actually, not that far. Thought it was a lot further than this. All right. Yoink. Let's get out of here. I suppose that would have been that energy cell would be no good to me because he doesn't have like a an arm. Like he's got a grabber on the front, but there's no arm on it, so he can't change his own battery. All right, let's peace out of here. Door is blocked by a robot. Oh, I know what it is. I put the energy cell over here. Watch me not be able to pick it up and it'll be glitched. All right, there we go. Now we should be able to go. Well, I guess that's it for this episode, guys. Check out the next episode where we're going to be apparently taking on some new types of bugs. See you later.